My favorite gear company has done it again, Peak Design and this year's Travel Line. This multi-part series is going to do a deep dive into the product, the 45 liter backpack, the various cubes and pouches to see whether it's worth it. As a photographer, as a traveler, does it meet your needs? Does it meet my needs? This is my honest review of the Travel Line. So let's jump in. Come on, let's go. Today, we talk about the tech pouch. All right, I'm back for another review for the Travel Line from Peak Design. In my last video, I talked all about the wash pouch, my personal feedback on it, whether it was worth it to switch over from my existing toiletry bag. Make sure you watch it if you haven't yet, but today, it is all about the tech pouch. I know you have a lot of questions about it. What is it used for? What can you fit in? What are the use case scenarios? I have a lot of questions as well, so let's jump right into it. The, the tech pouch. So if you're like me, you have a lot of shit when you travel. So everything from all the things you need for the plane, your laptop, your phone, music, random cables, dongles up the wazoo, all that stuff, where does it go? So here's the problem. All that crap that you saw earlier has to go somewhere. And with the everyday backpack, there are a certain number of pockets, but it's quite scattered. You have pockets on the sides, you got that top pocket on the top, and you have the open flap compartment um, here also on the top. Uh, but a lot of times when I pack for trips, I don't have really a great organizer. I just kind of throw everything in here. I got some batteries here. I got some tech stuff in the field pouch. It's all over the place. So is the tech pouch going to solve my problems? We'll find out. Here's a look at all the different organizers I bring for every single trip and why my backpack is so bulky. Everything from passport holders to the field pouch, an amenity kit, Skyroam, and my lav microphone. Let's first look at my passport holder slash document holder. Now it carries all the standard things, all my membership cards, passport, immunization card, and international driver's license. Next up is the Peak Design field pouch. And honestly, this is a random collection of all the photo and video stuff that I use. Everything from my GoPro to the drone and camera. Next up is my old school Air Canada mini kit, which really just stores my power bank and assortment of charging cables. Skyroam is my Wi-Fi hotspot when I travel and it comes with its own case. And then you have all the other electronics and things that fit in your bag and it has to go somewhere. Oh yeah, and there's that GoPro stuff. Now that you've seen everything that I have and everything that I manage to stuff in my everyday backpack, the 30 liter, um, how does this actually work with the tech pouch? And so what you see in front right now is a spread of my most frequently used items. The items that I showed you earlier um, with the tech pouch in the middle. So off the bat, you can tell that when comparing sizes, it's, oh gosh, almost the size of my Victorinox uh, passport holder. It's not as tall. Uh, but certainly about just as wide, maybe slightly wider than, than this guy. Um, it's definitely much taller as well. And then you have this, which is, this is just an Air Canada amenity kit. This is much bigger than that. Uh, and then you have all this other stuff, the Skyroam, um, all my audio gear, the dongles, batteries, chargers, the whole bit. So there's a lot going on. So why don't we get started with, I think what you're most interested in, which is how do I actually pack something like this and what does that look like with all the different pockets here's an example and this is my goal today which is to show you an example of how someone can pack the tech pouch all right so turning it over you can see that you know the logo's here at the top and there's one zipper that goes around so let's open this guy up and again that accordion style which i really love it just stands on its own it never really topples over um, and you'll see that over here you got tech pouch uh, and a ton of pockets. Uh, what's interesting to see in terms of material is that, again, that ash gray shows up here. This is ash gray. Uh, on the outside, it's a little bit different. It's actually the sage, I think, that's on, on the exterior here. Um, and the material that they use for the accordion shows up uh, in the pockets on both sides. But, and here as well, this is all that same kind of, I'm gonna call it spandex, but it's not, uh, it's a lot thicker. Um, not that I know really, I don't have any spandex clothes, I swear. <laughs> and uh, you have the zippered pocket here, uh, but this one's a little bit different. Um, this is an elastic. 
This one's an elastic material, uh, similar to the elastics that we're using in the everyday backpack. Uh, so why don't we get started? That's what we're here for. Let's load up this bad boy. This is gonna be what this bag was designed for, which is a pouch that you can bring out with you on the plane, outside of your bag, if you wanna just have quick access to all the things that matter to you, or maybe you're at a coffee shop just working away and, and you just need a pouch that carries all the things that you need to do your work. So uh, why don't we start off with, I think the most important part is here um, and most interesting as well. So in my Air Canada kind of amenity kit, I carry a power bank and I carry a ton of cables. Um, and one of the things that really struck me with the tech pouch is that they have a pass-through hole. And that pass-through hole is on, you can see that from the outer pocket, where, which has its own separate zipper, uh, there's actually a hole. There's a hole right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is, let's do that first. I'm gonna put my power bank, this is a Xiaomi, 10,000 uh, ma power bank. And it makes sense probably to put it over here, right? And there's a lot of space here. It's, it's kind of triangular because of the accordion, but I mean, there's a lot of give and obviously this is flexible, this spandex material. Um, and that's gonna go there at the top. And what I'm gonna be doing is basically feeding a cable through. And so this hole's actually large enough uh, to fit a USB all the way through, the USB plug. Um, so they've kind of thought of everything, really. And this goes in, I'm gonna plug that in there. And this is, I'm gonna keep it all wrapped up to keep it organized, but I'm gonna throw it here. And so the idea is that when uh, you're on the road and you need to charge your phone and uh, you don't wanna have to like plug things in on the fly, it's already good to go. All you gotta do is open the outer zipper and you can start charging. So this is my lightning cable for my iPhone. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that I thought that this would be too high because of the extra height that's added from the cable, but it's, it's actually fine. No problems closing it. So we're all good in the hood there. Uh, I'm gonna close up the outer zipper. Um, now I got all these extra cables. So I got, just cause, you know, in case, or I just all my different variations of things, the power bank still charges with micro USB. So I got a cable for that. And I got this uh, USB-C, to lightning charger um, as another option. So I'm gonna put all these cables, let's say here. It's just an another place for cables. All right, so I got that first thing done. Looks like this bag is now obsolete. So throw that away. Why don't we go through some of the, the main electronics that I use uh, when I'm on the road, which are my MacBook Pro. <clears throat> and associated to the MacBook Pro, I do a lot of video editing on the fly, so I got uh, the Samsung SSD, and so this is amazingly small. I gotta say, if you guys don't have one of these and you do video editing, like on the road, uh, you gotta get one of these. So uh, you got your charging block, and so where am I gonna put that? Um, I kinda want it contained and cushioned, so it might make sense maybe over here to kinda like put it diagonal to that so they don't hit each other, um, kinda maximize the space that we have. You got cables here uh, for the charging and I wonder, I wonder if I could just reuse, oh, this, this is a long cable, so it does take up a lot of space. Oh, it's tight. Okay, so maybe I'll put that here, kind of this being the computer cable thing, um, and the SSD cable, which is USB-C to USB-C, uh, that's gonna go out here as well. And again, this is a two terabyte hard drive, super small, and these side slots here seem to be perfectly designed in width to this. I guess it's like almost credit card, credit card sized, but you know, where the tech pouch label is here, all these three slots are identical. I'm gonna put it right in the middle and it fits like a glove. Pretty sweet. Um, so what else? One thought I had was that Maybe, uh, and I've, I haven't brought in here, but I'm gonna just show you real quick. This is, this is the uh, Peak Design field pouch, and I've been using this for a lot of camera gear. I showed you earlier that um, I pretty much have miscellaneous drone slash GoPro slash camera gear, um, and that's kind of what I use it for, but I'm wondering if this is obsolete, or maybe I can do another pack of this that focuses on um, more photography related items. So I'm gonna come back to this a little bit later on. Uh, but one idea was like, what if 
I put batteries in here. Now, I bring this up because one thing that I know you guys are gonna be sad about is that the wings of the 45 liter backpack don't have any pockets. And unlike the uh, 30 liter and the 20 liter everyday backpack, uh, those used to have basically slots for things like this. Uh, but with that gone away, you're basically reliant on your um, camera cubes to have slots to put this or, or a, kind of a, yeah, an, an area where you can put your, your batteries or something like this that you can organize it or maybe it's the front compartment of the backpack uh, that has a lot of zippered um, areas that you can leverage. But I see that over here, I have also three sections that I can take advantage of. And I think they're the same size as this, these guys over here. And it really is the perfect width as well. Um, goes in really easily. Not a lot of um, friction in terms of putting it in and taking it out. It's, it's easy to do so, it's not super tight. So I can put in batteries. Now, do I wanna put batteries in there? I don't know, because it is it is very specific to, okay, I'm gonna be doing a long shoot and I need a ton of batteries with me. So maybe it's a reconfiguration kind of thing, but batteries do fit in there quite nicely and quite snugly. All right, um, let's talk about this guy here. So this is my passport holder, and uh, as I was showing you the breakdown, I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, but I've always found that it's kind of unwieldy uh, because it's long, uh, which it needs to be, and it's just another thing to bring around. And so one thought that I was hoping for with the tech pouch was that maybe I can consolidate all this stuff here because if this is meant to be a bag that I can basically bring on the airplane um, and take it out of the backpack, have that stowed away at the top, but have this with me, then I would want some of this stuff with me. Or maybe I'm checking in at the airport, I just wanna have access to all this stuff. So uh, does that work here? And, and you know, on the onset and looking at this, it's, it's a different type of system, right? Like it's, it's not like this where you got card slots and all these different um, things optimized for documentation. That being said, I could see this working because you have all these slots. So what if I, okay, I'm gonna move my SSD over here to the, to the right side. And what if I, I don't know, let's just say I have all these cards here, right? Uh, membership cards, Nexus card, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. I feel like I can fit that into this slot. Like I said, it's cards, it's, it's designed to be for the business card size, so it perfectly fits. So that many number of cards is good. I think putting any more would make it really tight. Uh, maybe one more. Yeah, I could probably put one more. Um, I think after that, it, it, it's gonna get pretty hard to, to take out. Uh, oh, okay, this is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 cards. 10 cards fit into a slot. Uh, I think that is good because any tight, any any more, it'd be tighter, it'd be harder to, to pull in and um, put back in. Uh, granted, it's not as organized as before because you kind of need to take all of them out to access your cards. But honestly, in today's world, I think Nexus card is the only one I use quite a bit. Everything else is really just for the number. Maybe my Patty card I use if I go diving, but everything else is kind of on my phone already. Um, I bring them around just kind of in case. Oh, Priority Pass is another one I use, but maybe the others I don't care about. So in the name of optimization, or it would rather, rather minimization, I'm just gonna chuck away some of these cards I don't care about. Um, what about important documents? So let's say, you know, I got passport, you know, immunization card. Um, this is international driver's license. I also have a boarding pass, kind of a sample one from uh, earlier flight. So all these different things, um, there's no specific document holder. So it's not, again, optimized for documentation, but I mean, there's plenty of space and it's definitely long enough. So I could totally put all that here. If uh, I wanna keep it organized there, I can separate it. If I want to leverage the middle part of the accordion, I can definitely do that too. And it's actually a nice snug fit. now. The sporting pass will not work really. Ooh, kind of crumples it a bit. So boarding pass doesn't fit in the middle, but on the outside, definitely works. Um, okay, 
And I have a bunch of other things. I got these random, you know, uh, Ziploc bags just for coins and whatever when I travel. I think this miscellaneous stuff is great for the zippered area. So there's only one zippered internal area and this is right here. So you can see that you got one, two, three, four, five elastic areas uh, to put stuff in. These are smaller slots than the ones outside, which are for the batteries. I, I feel like these are optimized for things like SD cards. So SD cards could definitely go in here. Um, and one interesting observation I have is that the stitching goes all the way to the bottom. So if you put something into one of these slots, it's not gonna fall out on the other end. So um, these are closed end slots. Uh, with these kind of bags, maybe I can put it together with my passport backup photos that I bring with me and oh, because this is going to be too big. So maybe not. This I'll put kind of in here and these miscellaneous bags I'll maybe put in one of the slots on the side. Yeah, so that that works. Um, I got pens, got pens and pencil and this is I guess a full size HB pencil and you'll notice that it actually fits just right. It's the perfect length. Yeah, it hits both corners, but it perfectly fits. So that's a full HP pencil. I got a regular hotel pen here and that's perfect for that slot. So I got that and that kind of makes this obsolete, right? Which is pretty sweet. So let's chuck that. Awesome. Okay, what else we got? Um, audio gear, roaming stuff. So if we look at what we have that's left, uh, we got a lot of dongles. So dongles I feel like are perfect for these slots. I'm not gonna really use these for SD, but maybe I can just kind of throw these in there. SD card reader, that's good. And oh, maybe these guys here, these are silicone sleeves for my AirPods. I'm just gonna put them put them kind of inside, but I like the idea of being able to zip this spot up so that they won't fall out accidentally. Uh, what else we got? Man, we still got more slots here. So these are two big slots on the inside accordion or the inner accordion. Um, maybe this dongle out here could fit there, but yeah, that could work. That could work. Or I just want to face it flat so I don't bend the cable, but let's try that. It's, it works as in, in terms of the width of that dongle. So that's good. Okay, this guy. So this is my, my Skyroam Wi-Fi puck and it came with a bunch of cables for charging and things like that. Um, would love to get rid of this case because again, this is another thing I just kind of throw into the bag at the top of my everyday backpack, but it uh, is very bulky and um, it just kind of rolls around in there. So these cables, maybe I can keep them in this slot. So all this orange stuff that you see here. And yeah, I mean, there's space to put it, but my worry now is that like, man, this is getting kind of unwieldy. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And I got my audio stuff, ear pods and ultimate ear, um, triple driver headphones. Fortunately, still got to carry these because airports or rather airplanes uh, still need conventional plugs. Bluetooth is great for my phone and for my laptop. Uh, doing things like running. So I, 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 I need this for sure. This is a charging case. So this part is perfect for that. Uh, but to have another hard case in here, I feel like can't close it. It's too big. So just gonna take this out of the case. So get rid of the case, put it inside. I think it's protected because it's, it's cushioned kind of all the way through as long as you don't have anything sharp in there. Um, maybe I'll put it here. It's gonna ruin the boarding pass maybe. Uh, yeah, so this could work. And I mean, there's a few other things I, I haven't even brought up, like my lens pen, uh, cloth for the, for the lenses and things like that. Maybe that could go in because I, I usually kind of throw that in my bag near the uh, top compartment. So that could totally go in here somewhere in the pen, lens pen. Let's see if the lens pen goes in. Ooh, it's tight. Yeah, lens pen might be too fat. Man, lose some weight, lens pen. Yeah, 
lens pin is too fat. I mean, you could kind of slot it in that way using the clip. So maybe I'll do that just so that it's not just in there somewhere. Um, okay, so obviously it's too big. I'm not gonna be able to close this. So I think the, the key things that are taking up too much space, batteries and the Skyroam. So with that, this is perfect. I think with the batteries out, and maybe I don't need the batteries in the tech pouch for this particular use case, um, that I can just put my Skyroam in here. Skyroam things, maybe move my orange cables to be with the Skyroam. Actually, maybe I should put it here because the power bank is on that side. Yeah, so some configuring and playing around with required. But this could work actually. I think it's gonna, it's gonna look awkward because it's, it's tight. But I think with the high quality zippers that they use, It'll work. It's tight because you can see, you know, a bunch of crumpling and creasing, and it's ooh, it's maxed. Uh, you got the two handles here, just to hold it if you need to. Uh, on the bottom, you got a handle on the top as well, and the holes for the uh, anchors. But yeah, this works. It's large though. It's large. It'll it'll fit one of the. Uh, basically one of the thirds of the 45 liter backpack, uh, no problem, but this is big. Now, if you're concerned about that, totally, I think, take out the Skyroam Wi-Fi puck, and this is a much more comfortable fit. Yeah, this is much more comfortable. So maybe I don't travel around with this. I, I use something else uh, as another solution, like no roaming. But anyways, um, I think this is a good first look at packing the Peak Design Tech Pouch. Okay, so what if you're using the tech pouch for more photography gear than the everyday kind of travel type gear? And, and originally that's what this field pouch was for, for me anyways. The field pouch was a way to kind of keep shit organized. Um, it had a lot of pockets, similar pockets to what you see in the, the tech pouch. Um, one big area, a few zippered spots, and it was great. I love the Velcro. It was nice and um, it was unstructured, so you can keep it pretty flat and it looked good. Uh, you got the anchors and everything, so you could make it a bag on its own. I never use it that way, but you could. Um, well constructed. I love the kind of extra fabric here at the bottom for durability. But what if I could get rid of this? And if, if you look at the sizes, it's in terms of Le uh, width, or I guess you call it length, it's almost identical. This is a little longer, taller in this kind of configuration. Um, obviously the tech pouch is a lot wider. This is not that wide, so it doesn't have a lot of depth. Um, so you can't really put super thick things. Uh, and obviously a lot more compartments here than what was in, in here, which you can see the compartments uh, kind of look like that. And the field pouch has been around for a while, but I would love to not have to carry this and other things as well. Let's try to consolidate if we can. Uh, so I'm gonna do configuration here with uh, everything about, everything about uh, all this camera gear. So I got everything from some computer things to drone things, to GoPro, memory cards, dongles, uh, video gear, a bit of everything. This is kind of stuff that gets thrown in either in the field pouch or in the backpack in um, one of the small pockets. And I just kind of make do, uh, just kind of the way it goes. Or maybe the butterfly openings uh, on the side, they, they used to have pockets, at least in the 30 liter everyday backpack. You're gonna lose that with the 45 liters. So can you leverage this? So let's do this quick. Um, yeah, let's throw the batteries in. So batteries, like I said, perfect for the sides. So I think that is pretty sweet. Uh, you got GoPro batteries. So maybe that just goes in on the other side. So 
GoPro battery is a lot smaller, so just kind of throw them in there. I have a GoPro Hero 5. Um, these are drone uh, filters. So this case, I think, is a little bit too large. Yeah, it's not gonna, ooh, you, it's a real stretch fit. It's a real stretch fit, but it works, um, but not super easy to use, so I might not do that. I think these pockets would serve a lot better uh, for this guy. Uh, random accessories, like these GoPro things, I think these could fit into these pockets, but maybe let's just use the big ones. So these are just different mounts that I carry in case. What else? Uh, filters. Uh, so I don't travel with a ton of these, these filters for my Micro Four Thirds, but this one I do. This one is a circular polarizer, so that's perfect for out here. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, let's get to the road after. This is like another accessory, just another kind of screw. So I'm gonna put that with the GoPro stuff. Uh, then I got a lot of drone accessories. So these are legs, extensions, um, if I'm on some really weird ground. And I bring extra propellers just in case I break mine when I travel. So lots of space for that. You don't need to keep that too organized. So I just kind of throw it in there. So that's looking good. Um, dongles and adapters and you know card readers. I think, again, like my last configuration, these are perfect for the inside zipper pockets. And you know maybe I'll just take up one slot for these. And SD card reader, I'm gonna put that somewhere as well. And maybe I just won't, I won't even put it in a pocket. And that leads to SD cards themselves. So I got a ton here. I'm not gonna put all of them in there, but this is a think tank organizer. Still works really well. I don't think I have to, I could totally put it in here. But if you wanted to, I just wanna show you that SD cards go in and it's actually a little bit bigger than an SD card. So you could put multiple SD cards in here. It's not a super snug fit like it is uh, on the think tank, which is almost the right width for an SD card. Uh, but yeah, no, this is probably as close or as small of a pocket as you get with a tech pouch. Um, I don't think I'll do that way. I do like my think tank here. So I'm just gonna kind of slot that in on the side. You got a few random things like cloth. I think the lens pen, like I said, is too fat. So I'm just gonna clip it in that way like that. Uh, I got a few more dongles. Just gonna put that in the middle. Close this zipper up. Uh, I got space for the SSD. I got space for, do I have space for this guy? I do. Uh, the, these are the adapters. Cables, starting to run out of space. So I'm gonna put it on the outside. Um, so it's pretty full at this point. I think, you know, does the road fit in? Now when it's not on the camera, like, could this fit in here? And so I have a little bit of space left. You see how the road goes in right there from that. It has a few things already, but uh, there's enough space for all this to go in. And this could work. Yeah, I think this could work. Like, hold it down a little bit, close it up. And yeah, it's all in there. So the option is there for you. I think the road was really kind of pushing it, but uh, it works. So it's really all up to you. Like this is a great bag for anything. I'm gonna do one more configuration for you guys. What if this was all about GoPro gear, right? Some of you guys travel with a lot of GoPro stuff. I only have one GoPro, but let's see how that looks. Traditionally, a challenge that I've always had with GoPro uh, accessories is that it's all quite bulky. I mean, you have something for time lapses, uh, basically an egg timer, you got car mounts, you got jaw clamp, the uh, selfie stick extension plus mini tripod, uh, chest mount, head mount, more mounts, uh, and batteries, uh, screws, and things like that. There's probably more accessories that aren't even in here, but here's kind of a, a general assortment of GoPro things. So could this bag, the tech pouch, work as a GoPro accessory holder? And that's what I'm curious about trying. So um, 
I think it's gonna be a challenge because some of this stuff is really big. I mean, you're gonna have to really close it down to kind of make it work, I think, or some things are just gonna naturally have to go elsewhere, but let's give it a shot. So I think the smaller things, easy, no problem. The batteries, I could slot on the outside wall. So batteries go there. These accessories, no problem. Maybe screws, oops, maybe screws go here. So screws are in there. Um, this time-lapse thing, man, it's huge. I guess I could put it there. I don't know, it's awkward. You don't have that depth to work with. I mean, you can, I guess. Maybe this side is all big things. Huh, interesting. So the GoPro itself, this is a Hero 5. So I like to keep this somewhat more protected. So I think maybe one of these slots is good. You got a bit of protection on both sides. Uh, jaw clamp, I mean, I guess, could that go there? It could, it really could. Uh, this thing, the gooseneck thing, could go right there. You got head mount, which at this point, you're just stuffing it in the open pockets, I feel like. And it's already feeling quite large and you haven't even gotten to this or the car mount yet. Um, but yeah, this stuff is, has always been kind of annoying. So maybe it would be nice to fit this in here. Chesty and, and head mount. But I think this is it. Like you wouldn't, I mean, it's the right length. It's the right length to like fit it in, but there is no space. So I'm gonna try to close this. I really don't think you can. It's tight. Ooh, explosive. Yeah, the problem is this chest mount. But what if I took out all this, like, really, these really big things? And I think it could work. Uh, I'm just gonna put this chesty here. And this closes. This is no problem. So this could be kind of a GoPro organizer if you wanted to. It's not particularly efficient, though, I think. Just based off of this, like you're not leveraging a lot of the pockets, you don't have a lot of small accessories, you're just cramming things into open spaces, which is not really the most efficient use of a pouch like this. So I got some extra space, I could put this in here, if you really want to, that works, that totally works. Uh, but these guys, I don't know, these have to go elsewhere. And so at that point, like, is it worth it? Is it worth it to put some GoPro stuff here, not leveraging all the space uh, that you, and all the pockets that are available here, but still have to find a space for all this stuff. And so does this go into its own small um, camera cube or some other type of bag that you might have? So this is what it looks like with GoPro accessories. Honest feedback time. You've seen how I've been able to pack this tech pouch with all sorts of different examples, all the crap that I normally bring with me on my travels. So here's my honest feedback about the tech pouch. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. I like this more than the wash pouch that I have here. I like how this is smaller than the wash pouch. You'll see them side by side right now. It's a bit smaller. It's constructed a little bit differently as well. Um, quick note, quick note. You'll notice that you got your, your gray stitching here, black stitching here. That's a quick way to tell the difference between wash pouch and tech pouch. Sorry, side note. Um, okay, so honest thoughts about this is that it's highly usable, functional, versatile, flexible. At the end of the day, what I'm gonna be using this for is really my general kind of tech uh, pouch. All the things that used to kind of throw in random spots in my backpack. Uh, the, the, cable, uh, the cables, the battery bank, the power bank, the uh, charger for my MacBook Pro, those used to go in all these different places as you saw. But now I can have it all organized in one spot that's pretty freaking sweet. Um, and it makes sense, right? Why do you have a pen holder and, and all these different pockets? When I try to do it with the GoPro, when I try to do it for like more camera related things, uh, it worked. In that way, it was very versatile, but I thought that the best use case for this and what it was designed for were things like, let's have a battery bank with a cable pass-through. Uh, all the different zippered components, the spandex material, the elastic material that's inside, all these different sizes they've thought of from small, medium, large. So everything just fits. There's a place for everything that you might you know, bring with you on your travels or maybe on your photography 
a gig or whatever it is that you do. Um, I thought for me that it was highly functional and um, constructed beautifully, just like everything else, just like the wash pad. So no complaints in terms of the high-end materials that Peak Design uses. And so that's it, accordion style works. It sits really well. It does take up a bit of size, but with all the things that you can fit inside, I think it, it's worth it. And in here, I actually want the padding. So as opposed to the wash pouch, I was kind of complaining about the bulk that's created from the padding. With this, you kind of want padding because there's stuff that you want to keep safe. I think I'm going to keep it at that. Uh, this has been a long review already. So I hope you guys have found this useful, answered a lot of the questions that you had in terms of real life usage of the tech pouch. If I missed anything though, drop a comment down below. I respond pretty quickly. I'm pretty OCD about that. Um, but yeah, this is the tech pouch from Peak Design. Head over to Kickstarter page if you haven't backed the project yet. You can pick this up a la carte if you're interested in just this or pick up one of the awesome bundles that are out there that include that 45 liter backpack, which I'll be reviewing very, very soon in detail. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys real soon.